Today, no long videos. Today, no collaborations. Today, no prevention tips and no treatment plans. Today, we will discuss facts. Facts that will blow your mind. Facts that will change the course of how you look at obesity. Facts that will drag you back to the gym. Facts that would actually make Domino's and McDonald's sink into oblivion. Facts that can change your life for good. Listen to it very carefully because the last fact can change the way you look at obesity. Let's get started. The human body is the most advanced machine God has made. Our knees are a masterpiece. It withstands the entire weight of our body. The hips as well. But are we doing justice to our hips and knees? Are we giving it the right kind of weight it deserves? Is obesity and knee and hip problems associated? Yes. Obesity can cause osteoarthritis. So obesity, as people call it, is the accumulation of fat in your body. Now, obesity is a very broad term. It is very different from overweight or well-built or plump. Very different. Obesity is not a good thing. It can cause many problems. Diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, respiratory problems, skin problems. But most of all, it can cause joint and bone issues. Not many people talk about it. We we'll talk about it. I will tell you all the facts related to obesity and bone and joint issues. Obesity can cause a lot of problems. The most common problem encountered by everyone is joint disease, which is called the osteoarthritis. It can happen in the knees, it can happen in the hip, it can happen in the ankles, anywhere. Secondly, it can cause back pain. Thirdly, it can cause disc prolapse or disc herniation. And most of all, it can cause pain while standing. People cannot stand for a very long time. They feel the pain. Obesity can do a lot of things to your bones and joints. We have to be very careful. Now some facts about India. In India, over 135 million people are obese. That is around 10 to 11% of the entire population. Also, women are affected four times than the normal person and males are affected even more. Five times the normal people. It's a big problem. If you're obese, you can feel 10 years older than your normal age. Don't believe me? I'll tell you how. In a study conducted in the John Hopkins Arthritis Society, it clearly mentioned that an obese person has a risk of developing osteoarthritis as early as 30 years of age. But in a normal standard, it is around 40 years of age. So certainly 10 years older and 10 years weaker you make the decision. In the same uh, study, it also mentioned that an obese person has 10 times more the risk of developing knee osteoarthritis than a normal person. So 10 times, that's a lot. So I'll tell you some very interesting fact. So everyone must be knowing about BMIs, right? So BMI is basically your body mass index and it is calculated on the basis of your height and weight measurements. So in Indian standards, the BMI of around 30 is considered to be obese. But in a study conducted in 2015, it stated that from reducing your BMI from 30 to 26, it decreases the rate of osteoarthritis as well. So with a decrease of BMI from 30 to 26 in males, the rate of osteoarthritis which decreases is around 21.5% and in females it's even more 
it's 33.5%. So calculating your BMI and knowing about your body is necessary. Now for a very interesting fact, with one kg reduction in the entire body weight, the excess load to your knee reduces by around 4 kgs. That means if you're losing around 10 kgs approximately and you're walking a distance of 1 km, you will decrease the load on your knee by around 4,800 kgs. That's a lot. So my job is done here. I have stated all the facts I could to make you believe that how obesity can affect your bones and joints and cause osteoarthritis. Now it's for you all to decide how do you want your life to be 10 years, 20 years down the line? Do you want to have a life like this? Or do you want to have a life like this? The decision is yours.